students and um, women students. This is your Thursday video and we need to just talk about the history research component of this unit. So you're reading a historical novel either, um, and this is something about World War II, and there were several choices um, that you were working on, either Devil's Arithmetic, Hitler's Canary, um, Yellow Star, or The Diary of Anne Frank. Um, some of you have even um, wondered if you could read Number the Stars. Yes, that's a wonderful choice. So, you're reading a historical novel, that's number one. For writing, you are working on a cause paper, right? You're writing about a cause that you care about. And so you're looking into that and putting together a persuasive essay to make other people care about your cause as well. Okay. Well, there's one final element that we need to be talking about. Reading a historical novel, writing about a cause that you care about, and then our third component is some history research. And I'm sitting in front of some books because um, you're going to be doing more research. You've been doing research into your cause, and that's awesome. But this research I would like you to focus on World War I. We're going to focus on this period of time, and I want you to do a little bit of research on different subjects related to World War I. I'm going to give you several different choices. Okay? There were some really interesting developments um, during World War I that really changed the way um, we live and the way we fight, the way we engage with our um, enemies as well as our friends. Lots of things changed as a result of this um, world war. And in fact, at the time it was called the Great War. Certainly no one thought it needed a number and that a second one would follow it. I mean, it was just unheard of that the whole world would be fighting and in conflicts with each other. And yet, sadly, it wasn't the Great War that ended all wars. Um, it led to more conflict. So... I want you to choose one of these topics that you would like to learn more about. The first is planes. Um, this was the first time planes were used in combat. Um, of course, because they were just invented. Um, this was the time period of the Red Baron. Um, if you've ever seen Snoopy cartoons, um, where he is flying on his um, doghouse fighting against the German um, plane, the Red Baron. And um, this is a real, a real character, a real plane, um, really, really interesting. So you may want to choose to research a little bit about World War I planes. The other topic is tanks. Clear back in Leonardo da Vinci's time, he had designed an armored weapon, um, a tank, but it wasn't until World War I that they were uh, really invented and developed and um, utilized in combat. And so maybe you're interested in learning about the different tanks that um, were used during World War I and how effective they were. Who had the best tank, by the way? Was it the United States? Was it Russia? Was it Germany? Whose um, tank capability was the best? That's a good question. A sad part, all of these are sad kind of parts of war, um, but a lot of World War I was fought in the trenches. And so I want you to learn about trench warfare. Okay. Or if you choose to, this is one of your options. You don't have to do it on all of these things. You can choose trench warfare as your third option. Okay. Why? What were they doing in trenches? Why were they digging trenches? Why were they living in trenches? How long would a soldier actually live in a trench? This was a time period when, if you remember, two sides were fighting each other in their trenches on Christmas Eve. And suddenly there was this spontaneous truce that, that broke out. And um, the Germans got out of their trenches and um, 
was it the French soldiers or the American soldiers, the British soldiers got out of their trenches and they came together. They were sharing food. They were singing Christmas songs um, across this no man's zone between the trenches, back down after Christmas and firing at each other again. I mean, it was just crazy. And the conditions in the trenches were miserable. And so that may be something you want to learn more about. Hey, um, we could do something with um, nurses. This was about the first time that um, nurses were um, brought towards the front lines when they were having medical hospitals in the field and um, women were serving. Of course, in the Civil War, women were involved and uh, right in the middle of that conflict too. But nurses became involved in World War I in, uh, in a much more dramatic way. And so I want you to learn more about World War I nurses, um, including Florence Nightingale, um, as well as others. And so this may be a topic that really, really interests you. The final um, area is I want you to look specifically at weapons and I'm going to break this into two parts and that could be guns and chemical warfare. Both. This was the first time that they were trying to use chemical weapons against um, enemies um, and there were gas masks. People, soldiers were carrying gas masks and a horrible, horrible um, um, detonation of chemical weapons. And so that may be a topic that is interesting to you. Okay. So um, we're going to do history research based on World War I. I want you to find something about planes, tanks, trench warfare, nurses, or weaponry. And you can go to the library, check out a book. You can um, do some safe searches with your parents' permission and help on the internet. Um, there is lots of information out there that you can find about these subjects. Now, what do you do with that information? Well, for now, I just want you to take notes and um, pay careful attention to, you don't need to write a paper about it, pay careful attention to the vocabulary words that you collect, okay? Names of planes, um, names of pilots, um, names of nurses, okay? Names of tanks, right? So take notes and uh, look for vocabulary words. Because what we're going to be doing with those then is we're going to turn them into some really fun games. And I have um, some I have a website suggestion for you of some online game creators that we're going to use um, for your history research. Um, you're going to turn what you learn and the vocabulary words you find um, into games that other students would be able to play as well. Okay, so um, I wanted to just give you that background information and I want you to start researching. Find the information. Um, spend your time reading, right, your historical novel and researching some of these awesome topics about your cause if you haven't already done that, and about um, World War I and an area that interests you, whether it's nurses, tanks, um, planes. Planes are so interesting. Trench warfare or weapons. Um, learn what you can. Take notes. Uh, write down the words that you identify, some vocabulary words from your reading, because then we're going to turn it into a fun game. And I uh, don't want to overwhelm you with information, so more... Um, more will be coming about um, the games that you're going to be creating as well as your elevator pitch um, for your writing um, assignment. So watch future Thursday videos and I'll just take you one step along the way. Um, but for now, choose your topic that you want to his do history research on and start 
finding and gathering some information, okay? I think if you have um, 10 to 15, oh, excuse me, <coughs> vocabulary words that you have found, that'll be perfect, and that'll be enough. Um, you won't need any more than that. So once you've got those in your notes, as well as what they mean, um, you know, what the words belong to, and the definitions of them, then you're, you'll, you'll be ready, ready to create your game, and it'll be awesome. So thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you next week. See you then.